If you want to start collecting feedback from customers or employees, an online survey is a great place to start. Surveys are the perfect way to get valuable insights from real people. You can use these insights to improve marketing campaigns, decision making, and the quality of your products or services. But how do you know what questions to ask? Or how many? Or in what format? I'm Beth Miller, Customer Success Manager at Form Assembly, and in this video, I'm going to share six tips for building an effective online survey. So let's get started. Let's say you want to create an employee satisfaction survey. Well, the first step, and tip number one, is to define your goal and prepare your questions. Maybe you want to gauge employee stress levels how supported they feel at work, or their thoughts on the company's benefit package. Whatever it is, define the goal of your survey, and then use that to develop relevant, clearly worded questions. Make sure you only ask questions necessary to achieve your goal. In this case, I've got four questions I'll add to my survey. Tip number two is to determine your audience. What do you need to know about your audience to have a successful survey? For our example, asking demographic questions such as age, job title, department, or tenure might be helpful. Knowing this data provides a basis for benchmarking different demographic groups and how they relate to industry standards. For my survey, I want to keep the respondent anonymous but I do want to collect information on their department. So I'll add one question, verifying which department they're in. The third tip is to vary question formats. Question types like radio buttons, check boxes, and the Likert scale will help keep your respondents engaged as they take your survey. The field you select should be appropriate to the question being asked. Radio buttons are great for a response that can only have one answer, like yes or no questions. Chat boxes are great for questions in which users can select more than one answer. Likert scales are great for questions that could have a range of responses, typically used for questions involving emotional ratings or frequency of an activity. Tip number four is to keep your survey short. No one wants to spend hours filling out a survey, and you don't want to spend hours sorting through responses either. But there's another big reason why you want to limit the number of questions on your form. Data minimization, or the practice of only collecting the data you need and nothing more, is a data security best practice. Keep your data clean and clutter-free. If you're not able to keep your survey short, be sure to add a progress bar to your form so respondents know how much they have left to complete. The fifth tip is to give closure. Your respondents took time out of their day to complete your survey. So to show your appreciation, show them a thank you message that acknowledges their effort. This also lets them know that the survey is complete and their response was successfully submitted. I'll thank my respondent and let them know that their answers are valued. And finally, my last tip is don't forget integrations. Connecting your form to your system of record, such as Salesforce or other CRMs, is a great way to ensure the data you collect is stored securely and accessible to your team. Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel are also helpful tools for processing and analyzing the data you're collecting. But whatever system you use, having a way to automatically import survey data 
will save you hours spent manually adding the data yourself. And there you have it. Six tips for building successful online surveys. If you want to learn more about building better forms, check our guide, Four Steps to Better Web Forms, at the link in the description. If you would like to see more videos with data collection and form building best practices, we have a whole library of great content on this channel. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out when we release a new video. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy form building!